week, everyone. It's Jennifer with the P Addiction Adventures. Thank you so much for coming back. This is the second unboxing for this day. Um, the first one, I did the drills off-site. Um, they were my gorgeous girls. I had all the diamonds, all the numbers added up. Everything looked great. So we're good to go. This one is the one I'm super excited about. And if it's what it should be, it should be a Hua Can Custom that I ordered on July 16th. It was shipped on July 21st, and it was delivered today, August 6th. It's a 50 by 60. There's two of them in here of that size, and it cost me $10.70 as it was the Hua Can Custom sale. Um, these would normally probably go for 18 to, well, maybe like $23 this size. Um, maybe that's a little high. Maybe it would be, no, probably about $18. So, um, I'm really excited. I'm hoping that these are my two dogs. Um, I, we had a dog after we first got married and moved into this house. And she was a black lab mixed with Great Dane. After she was fully grown, um, she weighed about 90, 95 pounds. Um, she passed away after being 12 years old. She was my daughter's best friend. Yep, these are it. And it was really hard. Um, she came with us to the vet. And... Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a custom of her. I'll show you the photo. I have to come around to the other side of the camera with my setup. So this is Kaylee when she was a puppy. Let's see if I can get to focus. Super cute. Um, doesn't show up super well on the camera. So once she passed, we thought, you know what, we're going to take a couple months off. We travel a lot with my daughter's soccer, um, but we only lasted two months. And we ended up with this little fur baby, Zoe. This was when she was a puppy. And she was in featured in one of my videos a little earlier. Um, so if you want to see her full grown now, feel free to check out, um, I think it's the big reveal video. She wanted to join me. So in this one, we got two sets of tools. This doesn't have Huacan written on it, so it must have missed getting printed. Um, I, I love these tweezers, but they end up with packaging. Um, putting holes in the bags and so I end up not being able to use these bags I just have to recycle them which is no big deal but I, I like this size bag um, so yeah and then they each kit I love that who it can takes the extra step and sends a, another multi-placer that you can switch out the three with so we'll put those aside um, this, let's see here, one is 50 color, so Zoe is 50 color, and Kaylee, the black lab, is 49 colors. Uh, let's see here. It's 10,304 three pens, so I knew it would be a lot because she's a black doggie. When I first sent this in, let me get this wrapping out of the way. I'll do the other one too. When I first sent Kaylee in as a puppy, it came out super black. Like I knew it would end up just being a black blob. And so again, this is my tip of having them send you, I know I keep saying it, I'm a broken record over and over again, but you will end up being so much happier if you ask them 
for a mock-up. And if they send you a mock-up that doesn't look like it has a drill field, it's just like a picture, say no, no, I want like a proof, like a mock-up of what the drill field is going to look like. So we're going to do Kaylee Boo first. That's what we call her, Kaylee Boo. Um, so I ended up sending them back the picture with it a little, a little bit lighter so that I could tell where her head went into her body. So, let's see here. Oh my goodness. So they chose one of these colors. Which color is it? Okay, it has 2000, it's the number sign. I hate that they choose that color or that sign. And over here, it looks, sorry, I'm probably off screen. So over here, it almost looks like just plaid. And so yeah, it's super clear, but the fact that they picked that number sign for that color, I wish they would avoid that sign. It's, for me, it's really hard. So let's see here. So yeah, this is the little dots are 310 and then they use 939s as well to make her up. So, I, right here, with lighting, lightening it up, this will have some more definition so that it didn't just all become body. And then here's her collar. And so, um, I'm really glad that I asked for a mock-up. And I'm going to have to relay this down because... Oops, I'm going too fast, guys. I'm going too fast. I'm ripping things. Shoot. It's my own fault that I'm doing this. And because of where I have to put my tripod in order to do the video, I can't get this fully on my table. So I'm really far back, so I'm probably off camera right this second, but I'm going to get back on camera as I move towards you. So yeah, our dog, we named her Kaylee. Um, she was super cute. Um, the first two years, though, were HE double hockey sticks for our furniture, for our carpet. We ended up probably doing $10,000 worth of home repairs because of her. She chewed up our whole kitchen floor. Uh, when we first moved in, it was laminate, and we didn't have a lot of money, and it was move-in ready our house, but it was one of those... It didn't have to be a fixer-upper, but you could put a lot of your own touches. And so that's what we loved about it. And we didn't have money to fix it up. Um, but she decided when we put her into um, the kitchen, when we went out for about an hour, that she was going to get back at us and rip up the whole kitchen floor. Okay, so who I can does not have an inventory sheet. They do have a ledger on the side, and usually I'll just print that out and use it as an inventory sheet. Also, for customs and other, they have a number up here above your photo, and that is the number that ends up being on your packaging. So this one is 905 is the last three, so I know these drills go with this piece. Um, I'm just gonna pull them out to show you the colors. Uh, I'm not gonna do inventory right now because I don't want the video to be super long. Um, I did know that this was gonna be more of a muted one because it's a black dog on like tan carpet. 
Um, so there's there are a few colors that make up her collar. Her collar was like a teal green. Um, but most of these are going to be like your, your dark. This is the 934 that's the really dark green. Um, you've got your 3371 really dark brown. Um, so it looks like they did a good job trying to give definition to a black dog. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. And I'm hoping to kind of frame this and put it up in our family room. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to do inventory on it off camera. If anything goes bad with the inventory, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm sh you know, it'll be great. And I'll try to update you on the next video um, to say yes, it went well. If it didn't go well, I'll let you know in the description. All right, so this is Zoe. Zoe is the current dog we have. She's just a little over two years old. Um, but I got the picture when she was the same as Kaylee and the other one. So they're both, oh, probably about 12 weeks old in these pictures. Um, so I wanted to get one of each around the same age and then do them, frame them, and put them in our family room. And... This one has more wrinkles in it. If you can see, there's wrinkles in the canvas. Um, so I'm not too worried. I'm just double checking if there's any wrinkles, like any rivers, like wrinkles in the glue. Um, but I think we're gonna be okay. As long as we are careful and we work on being gentle, because Jennifer sometimes forgets to be gentle. Um, everything looks really good as far as the drill field is concerned. And Zoe is really funny. We found her and I'm going to finish my drill with me with my story time. And the story of how we got Zoe will be in that. Um, but we got her right after one of our vacations. A little, like, a little over two years ago. It was after July 4th. And um, she is a um, boxer mixed with Great Dane. And we thought she'd be a little bit bigger, but we're glad she's not. Um, the size she is now, which you saw in the video, is the perfect size for our family. Um, and she has, like, the size of a boxer, but, you know, she's got some great Dane characteristics. And what I found out in research is that they call them box aims box stains or something like that and they actually are a really good mix because the snout of a boxer which hers is a little bit longer um, they have a lot of breathing problems and so the Dane helps the snout go longer which then helps with the breathing problems and then a great Dane because they're a large breed dog has a lot of um, heart and hip problems and so a boxer um, has one of the strongest hips of any breed and so when you mix them together their genes help cancel each other out um, however Zoe has a lot of boxer in her and she snores a lot um, so she's so funny everyone knows when she's asleep um, and then we thought she just had all these wrinkles that you see, um, if you watch my video in her face because she was a puppy, but turns out she also has some sharp hay in her. So she has just enough extra skin to make just these cute little wrinkles, but not enough to, um, have to clean them out and, and worry about so that's the the story of Zoe and her breed 
if you're looking for a good family dog. Um, but what's really funny is we always talk about how we, because I'm a therapist, how I always end up getting these crazy dogs. I'm having a lot of trouble with these wrinkles. Like the canvas wrinkles up so that when I go to lay these flat, it doesn't want to lay flat. Um, but we'll work it out. It's not the glue, it's the canvas, so that's a good sign. Um, so Kaylee, for the first two years, because a lab um, chews for the first two years of their life. So like I was saying, half our house got destroyed because of chewing, similar to a cat who has issues with scratching. Well, Zoe, is a box um, with the box burner. She's a very playful doggy. Um, so we had to make sure we had plenty of toys to use the crinkling. So we had to make sure we had plenty of toys. Now this, because she's a tan dog and because she's on her dog bed, there's a lot more colors. I love these colors. This one's gonna be a lot of fun to do. Um, they're just unique color combinations. There's blues and greens and purples, and I love that it's like jewel tones. I'm a jewel tone girl um, versus this really huge bright girl, um, so this is awesome. Um, so I'll do inventory off camera, um, but I just wanted to show you the colors. So just to finish my story with Zoe, um, so bear with me. Um, she loves to play, and then she's also a submissive peer. So I don't know if you know what a submissive peer is. Um, my parents' dog was like this too when I was growing up. They um, aren't really alpha dogs. And so when you go to put the um, leash on them, they think they're in trouble, even though you can have the sweetest voice in the world. So they'll bow down to you and then they'll pee or um, they'll get really excited that you're home and they'll pee. So the first year of her life, she peed everywhere. Um, praise the Lord, a friend of mine wanted to get rid of her carpet cleaner because we were about to have stock and rug doctors because I do not want my house smelling like a dog even though we have a dog and I am not fanatic about clean but I am fanatic about dirty. It's okay if something's messy but not dirty. And so um, I was constantly like wool light and cleaning and scrubbing. And so now, um, evidently, I'm the only one she does this with. So we usually have to take her outside right away. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff I won't bore you with. Um, but she's growing out of it. Um, it doesn't happen as often, maybe once every two weeks or so instead of 15 I mean literally one day it was 13 times of one day and she was about dead like she I was like I need to give this dog away um but she survived and we survived and our carpet survived thank goodness we have wood floors in most of our house um so yeah well thank you so much for joining me for listening to my stories and for helping me unbox again and I just hope you have an amazing night. Um, again, I'm so thankful to be part of this community. And I look forward to the next time we meet. Be blessed. Take care.